Welcome to first class sailing in Campastilla. Welcome on board the San Odyssey 519 Alea. Before you go on board, please come to our peer office to get further instructions for the check-in. In the peer office, the skipper will have to sign the contract, pay the extras and do the security deposit. Then we will hand him over the checklist. As you can see here, we have uh, detailed um, information about the boat, which is uh, quite interesting. We also have uh, a layout of the boat where we can see um, the fuel tanks and the water tanks. All tanks are full. Fuel tanks have to be returned full. So please, when you come back, uh, to the marina, stop at the gas station and we will fill up the tanks. Then we also have uh, a number, so this is our service. If you have any problems during your trip or any questions, you can call us. We also have the WhatsApp, so if you have to send a picture or a video, then you can do it over WhatsApp. We have some additional numbers for the emergency. And as you can see here, very important, the checkout will be uh, at 5 p.m. and then you will be able to sleep on board until the next day. On the second page, we have uh, different photos of the technical uh, parts of the boat. So please check um, every photo, see where this is located. And uh, together with the video, you will have a very good insight of the boat. And then we have the next page. This will be the equipment, inside equipment. This is located in one of the cabins and at the chart table. So just please check all the equipment. If there is anything you don't find, please tell us. And uh, yeah, then you have the last page, which is the uh, exterior equipment. Same as before, please check all the equipment. And once you are ready, then um, please come to the peer office and uh, you will receive uh, further instructions. The switch panel. The switch panel is located at the chart table on the port side of the boat. The switch panel is divided into uh, the shore power part and then on this side we have the 12 volts part. On the shore power side we have uh, here we can see that we have uh, right now shore power. We can also check this with uh, this little LED. So important when you go to the marina connect the cable please always check that you really have shore power. And then we have the switches. This is the water heater. You normally don't need it because you also generate hot water with the engine. But if you stay for a longer time in a marina you can Turn the not this on. If you don't need it, please turn it off. Then we have the battery charger. You can always leave it on. And then we have the plugs. You can also always leave them on. On the 12 volt side, we have different switches. We can go uh, over them. So here we have the main switch for the cabin lights. We can leave it on. Uh, then in every cabin, we have a separate switch. Then we have the 12 volts plug, also with the USB to charge the smartphone. Then we have the fridge. Then here we have a separate freezer, you can also turn it on. We have the water pump, uh, we can turn it on always. We have the bilge pump, which we can uh, put in auto, or we have the automatic mode, we recommend automatic. And at night, the best is switching it off completely. Then we have the instruments, then we have the deck light, then we have the anchor light, and here we have a switch with two uh, positions. Sailing, we have the position lights, and engine, we have the steaming light together with the position lights, navigation lights. We also have a little display where we can check, uh, for example, the batteries. So we have the engine battery, we have the, this is the bow thruster auxiliary, and then we have domestic, this is the service battery. We should always check that it never drops under 12 volts. Then here we have the water tanks, one and two. And at the end, we have the diesel tank. The electric fuses. Uh, behind the switch panel, we just have to open it here and here we can access the um, electric fuses. As you can see there, it's automatic fuses. So if some device doesn't work on board, please first of all check by pushing the different fuses if maybe one of them went out and you can solve the problem very easily. The VHF radio. The VHF radio is located directly under the switch panel. It's a Raymarine. Uh, to switch it on, we just have to push here uh, one second. Now it turns on. We have a distress button, so in case of an emergency, we just have to push this button and the emergency signal will be sent together with uh, the GPS uh, signal. And uh, then uh, we have uh, the channel 16, which is the normal uh, emergency channel. Here with this knob, we can change the channel. And channel 9 is the channel for the marina, so if you want to go inside of a marina, please uh, call them before on channel 9. Then here we can 
if we push we can change uh, the squelch and if we push again we can change with the knob the volume to turn it off just here again three seconds until the display goes off the music system the music system is located directly next uh, to um, the switch panel it's a fusion uh, system we have bluetooth we have uh, the aux cable to connect uh, some other devices and it's very easy to use on off button to switch it on then here we can select the source and with uh, the knob we can uh, change the volume the inverter the inverter is located directly over the um, switch panel it has uh, 300 watts and normally it's intended to uh, for example charge a laptop uh, bigger devices are uh, not compatible and uh, to switch it on we just push here this button and now this plug is active also we have another uh, usb to uh, charge a mobile phone for example and very important if you don't need it switch it off please because even if there is nothing connected uh, it will consume uh, energy the generator uh, the boat has a powerful generator and um, the control unit is uh, located directly next to the switch panel it's very easy to uh, operate you just have two buttons start and stop so to start uh, the generator just push start and you have to push it for at least 10 or 20 seconds because you have a preheating now you can see the symbol on the display it's starting and please keep the uh, button pushed until it really starts now you can see revolutions go up and the generator is running now you have 220 on every plugs and you can also turn on the air condition to switch it off very easy just push the stop button for at least three seconds until the stop sequence is ready and now it's off again the switch for the water tank these uh, switches are located uh, behind uh, the cushion in the cockpit next to the chart table we just have to remove this cushion and then here you can see the two uh, knobs for tank one and tank two here it's described how it is closed and how it's open so now this one is closed and this one is open if tank number two is empty just close it very important you have to close it and then open tank number one and you will have fresh water again the epirp the epirp is located uh, over the chart table as you can see it here and uh, to switch it on it's very easy you just have to remove this switch and under the switch there is also a button and then push the button and you activate it please uh, if you have an emergency take it with you inside of the life raft then you can uh, switch it on and the gps signal will be sent and you will get help immediately the gas detector the gas detector is located under the chart table as you can see it here if the alarm goes off please just uh, cancel it by pushing the white button and then uh, check uh, the gas system the gas uh, shutoff valve this valve is located directly under the uh, oven inside of the pantry so here we just open this and as you can see here we have this yellow valve if you want to cook just switch it on and very important after finishing you have to switch it off again so you have no gas in here the speedometer and the depth sounder uh, these uh, sensors are located in the front cabin on the port side under uh, this floor so uh, you have to close the door and then you can access it we have cleaned it so there shouldn't be any problems but it's important that you know where these uh, sensors are located the air condition this boat has a comfortable air condition and the control unit is located at the saloon table as we can see it here to uh, switch it on we just have to push once uh, the power button to switch it off again the power button and then very easy to control the temperature we have these two buttons and the fan speed uh, we have this button after sailing they uh, maybe is air inside of the air conditioning system and the air conditioner doesn't work properly so uh, to remove the air we have to uh, Remove here the cushions of this bank at the saloon table. Open here, then remove the wood, which I have already done. And as you can see here, uh, we have this um, valve. So please turn on the air condition. And after turning it on, you just open this valve until you have uh, water coming out of here. That means uh, there is no more air in the system. Then please just close it. And this water goes directly to uh, the bilge pump. You can pump it out and uh, the air condition will work perfectly again. The main switches. The main switches are located in the aft cabin on the port side. And we have three main switches. As we can see here, we have uh, the engine, 
Then in the middle we have the black one, this is negative, we all, always have to leave it on. And then we have the domestic, this is the service battery. If uh, there is something on board uh, which doesn't work, you can um, just turn off the domestic uh, main switch. Wait for 10 seconds, turn it on again, and then everything on board will reboot and often the problem uh, is gone. Then in the middle we have uh, an elect the electric fuse of the windlass, also very important. So um, if the windlass doesn't work, please first of all check if maybe this fuse uh, went off. And then on the side we also have another fuse. This one is for the electric winch. The diesel shutoff valve. Uh, this valve is located in the aft cabin on the starboard side. Here under uh, this mattress we just have to remove the mattress. And then uh, we have uh, a little uh, wooden piece. We have to remove it uh, as well. And then under it we have the valve. So in case of an emergency, we can just uh, switch off this valve and uh, the, the diesel uh, will not go into the engine uh, anymore. The toilets. This boat has four comfortable electric toilets and we will see now how to operate them. We have uh, two switches. Uh, this one we can see we have two positions. We can uh, pump fresh water or we can flush. But we recommend uh, this one here, where both uh, things happen at the same time. We can test it. Okay, this works. And very important, please uh, push this button at least 10 seconds, so everything goes into the tank and nothing stays inside of the pipes, the tubes. And also very important, never throw anything, no paper or something else inside of the toilet. And then also here we have a button to pump out the water after you took a shower. The waste tanks. Uh, all toilets have waste tanks and as we can see here we can access one of them just open this and as you can see here inside we have this seacock the valve now it's open so if you are in a marina or in a bay and you want to use a toilet please close it so everything stays in the tank and once you are on the sea again you can open it and the tank will flush automatically with gravity and that's why it's so important that you don't throw any paper inside because then uh, the chance that the tank is clogged is very high. The engine. The engine is located under uh, the companion way. We just open here and we can already see the starter battery. We have it here and then we have the um, Yanma engine. It's a common rail. We don't have any uh, dipstick uh, for the oil anymore, so it's electronic. And just please once a day check if the bilge is um, clean. And if it's clean, everything will be fine. Also, if you have any problems uh, with the uh, cooling system, like we can see here, the impeller, please, first of all, call uh, our service. And also a little tip, as you can see there, uh, behind uh, we have like this red button. It has two positions, run and stop. So if uh, you want to turn on the engine and it doesn't work, please check this button. Maybe it uh, switched to uh, stop. So just put it back on run and uh, it will start uh, normally. The gas bottles. The gas bottles are located uh, on the port side behind the helm station. We just have to open this hatch and uh, then we can see uh, the two gas bottles. The one which is connected maybe is not completely full, but we have another one which is 100% uh, full. The plotter. The plotter is located at the helm station and it's a Raymarine next generation touchscreen. Um, to go to the charts, this is the main menu, so you just have to go here, push the charts, and now they will charge. You can see we have some different information overlaid over the map. The depth is quite important. Then to return to the main menu, we have it here. Then we have uh, man overboard. Here we can put some waypoints. Then we have a main menu. We can uh, see later what we have there. And as you can see, we have the boat over here. We can move, we can use the multi-touch also if we want to put a cursor somewhere now as i said we can go here on the menu and you can see we can put a go to or we can go to new and set a route set a new waypoint um, and the boat also has the ais so the triangles you can see here this is other boats and you can push on a boat and if you want to track it or get some more information you can do it over here and then to turn it off we have that here you just have to do this now you come to a menu this also is important we have the brightness here so uh, maybe even the brightness went down and you don't see anything on the on the display so please check if the brightness is uh, really at 100 percent engine start and stop uh, both engines can be uh, 
controlled over these panels which are located at the helm station. Um, to switch it on just push this button now it's switched on we don't need the preheating we can directly go to the start button push it and uh, now the engine is running please never go over 2000 rpm makes no sense it's not good for the engine and you won't go any faster but consumption uh, skyrockets so please stay at 2000 to switch it off just push stop until the engine uh, is down and now push three seconds to turn it completely off. You will see this, that this display goes off now. The gearbox. The gearbox is a standard gearbox. So to put the forward gear, it's just this position. And rear, we have this other position. Between uh, switching from forward to uh, rear or from rear to forward, please always stay at minimum one second on the neutral position so that the gearbox can synchronize. And if you want to charge the batteries, just push here and you can give a little throttle in idle for maybe half an hour and you can charge the batteries. The bow thruster. Uh, the bow thruster only works if the engine is running. So first of all, turn on uh, the engine. And now we have to push both buttons at the same time. Now it beeps and you can see now it is uh, on. And if you push, the bow goes uh, where you push please always only push for one second maximum because if uh, the system overheats then it uh, will shut off uh, for safety reasons and we want to avoid it to uh, turn it off again both buttons you get two peeps and now this blinks and uh, now you know that it's uh, off or uh, in standby the windlass the windlass for the anchor only works if the engine is running so uh, before anchoring please turn on the engine then inside the locker we have uh, the control, as you can see, down and up, which is quite self-explaining. Down to put it down, up to put it up. We have 50 meters of chain, uh, every 10 meters it's marked. And please always give a little more chain uh, so you are on the safe side. The dinghy. Please uh, store the dinghy on deck always. Never tow it behind the boat because uh, it can um, break. We will check this on the checkout. So uh, again, please store it always on board here on deck. The sails. The boat has a furling Genoa, which is standard. And then we also have a furling main, which uh, has, uh, we can see it here like this uh, little uh, spiral. And it's very easy. Uh, you just turn it in or out uh, to, put, uh, to pull the sail out or uh, pull it in again. This uh, happens with this rope. Very important when you pull it in, Always be careful and do it uh, very slowly so that uh, you roll it in uh, very stiff so uh, you don't have any problems when you want to pull it out uh, the next day. The electric winch. Uh, the control unit is located uh, in the cockpit uh, directly at the companion way. Here we have the button, we just push it and as you see it works. The bathing platform. Uh, the bathing platform is manual, it's not electrical, so it's very easy to use. As we can see here, we have uh, this little um, lock, so we just have to unlock it. And then inside of the locker where uh, the gas bottles are located, we have a rope and we can just uh, pull it down or uh, lift it up again. Very important, please always put the lock again before uh, starting uh, to sail. And also important when sailing, please remove the gangway and uh, maybe just fix it at the side of the boat because leaving it here, uh, it could damage the stern. The shore power cables. Uh, the boat has two shore power cables, uh, one main cable and then the second one for the air condition. So please, when you go to the marina, always plug in both cables. The outside shower. The outside shower has, uh, well, as you can see here, you have a tube. And here we have a button to push so you can have uh, fresh water running. And then you also have a valve where you can turn on and off. And also by turning, you can change the temperature. It is important if you don't use the shower, always this valve, put it on off. If it's on on, you still have no water coming out here, but maybe it's dripping over here at the tube. And uh, yeah, that could be a huge problem because your water tank empties without you knowing it. The outboard engine. The outboard engine is an optional extra. Uh, you uh, will get an engine and also a tank full of gas. So uh, 
I will explain how this works. So first of all, you have to switch on, as you can see here, the switch for the gas. Then check that you are in neutral. So this is forward and this is neutral. So neutral, please. Then you have to open here, turn three times. Then here you have the show. You have to also use it. Then check that here, this is really in. And then as you can see here, we have like a little starting position, which has to be right in the middle. And now you can just turn it on. The checkout. Please be back in the marina at 5 p.m. at the latest, because we will have a diver diving the boats and it is very important that all boats are back in the marina in time. When returning, please stop at the gas station and one of our staff will help you filling up the diesel tank. Then we will bring the boat to the berth and after this we will do the checkout. Of course you can stay on board until the next day. And with this we come to the end of this check-in video. Please feel free to watch the video as many times as you need, check the equipment, check the photos and once you feel ready please just uh, come to the peer office and uh, we will sign the check-in and after this you can uh, go on board and enjoy your vacations. Have fun!